and welcome back to the southern snack where life is too short to be serious folks it's been that kind of day it's been that kind of week i'm just i don't know so so you know they, they don't have the garlic butter sauce at my sonic which i reviewed it already it's a seven out of ten it's it's not really all that it's pretty good the sauce really adds a nice touch but it doesn't really click it doesn't have that oomph factor that makes me go wow so i'm like okay you know just give me a burger that's similar to that like give me something and and we'll, we'll go with it so you know I, so i was pretty much gonna kind of i hate to say the word lie but i was gonna kind of be like oh we're gonna go with it and just not really lie. i was gonna be up front but no, I mean, I can't even jump into this review and say, hey, look at this. It's it's literally their, their grilled cheese. It's their grilled cheese burger. It looks nothing like, the, I, I can't even title this. I can't even draw you in reviews saying garlic butter cheeseburger because it's not that. It's not there. We don't have that. They didn't even give me a regular bun. They gave me a, a Texas toast bun. I literally told them, make me this. If you ain't got the garlic butter, just make me that without the garlic butter. And they fell. And they fell. And today's been that, that, that type of day. I went to IHOP earlier. Went and got this, uh, the Nashville Hot um, Chicken Waffles. Did fine. That was fine. That worked. Um, but the, the I was ordering the cold brew, the pumpkin cream cold brew. They left the cold cream off. So... And I didn't have time to go back in and complain, but I know you're like, why are you going on and ranting? But whatever. Uh, so we got two new blasts. We got the turtle truffle and we got the chocolate brownie. You got brownie chunks and choco chunks. And then you got chocolate caramel truffles and almond pralines or praline almonds. But yeah, please subscribe. We're going to go ahead and get into the review. We're not going to go on and on all day. We're just going to carry on with our lives and try it out. Uh, shout out to Kimmy Rayleigh. She loves watching my reviews. And of course, well, they didn't give me too much. They did. All right. Kimmy Rayleigh loves watching my reviews and she's been bugging me about this one the uh, turtle truffle don't blame her it, it looks fun looks interesting i didn't know it was coming out um until she told me i knew about the trick-or-treat blast and a few other things but you know we're excited to do this so um go ahead and mix it around because i know how they are they don't put enough in the bottom there just enough on the top so yeah let's go ahead and try this out right first with the truffle mmm Now, that's very interesting. Of course, that vanilla ice cream base is always refreshing. But that mix of crunchy uh, praline pieces with indulgent chocolate. Mmm. I would definitely say that's a step above the Trick or Treat Blast and the Heath Blast. Just because the mix of flavor is very interesting. Maybe a bit too crunchy. But it's like you take, you know, chocolate, caramel, and candied nuts, and it, it worked quite well. I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, not too sweet either. It does have a nice amount of sweetness, but, you know. So, chocolate brown. I'm sure most of y'all are excited about this one. Um, again, ice cream, chocolate chunks, brownie chunks. And uh, we're just trying to mix it together. I don't know. His brownies ain't quite hitting. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. And the brownies aren't really indulgent. They're a bit too dry. The chocolate flakes don't add a lot to this. It's just an okay blizzard. I mean, blast. I definitely prefer their Choco Extreme Blizzard from Dairy Queen over this. Hmm. Yeah, that's not doing it for me. Leaves a lot to be desired. I would give that a five. Um, it's really just okay. You can't hate it. But you can't love it either. So, shockingly, the brownie one really came up short. The uh, truffle one, very impressive. And then the Heath and Trick or Treat ones that I just reviewed, also very, very good. So, I would avoid brownie, but some of y'all might love it. I don't know, but it's just not hitting. It's just not hitting. But anyways, that's my review. Hopefully, I didn't make your blood boil from not jumping right into it. But I got right through it. And those are the two new blasts in addition to the ones I tried yesterday. So hopefully I'll see y'all around and uh, I'll be back.